Hey there, food lovers and agriculture enthusiasts, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to peel back the layers of one of America's favorite kitchen staples, the onion. More specifically, we're diving into the fascinating journey of California onions. You might be surprised to learn that these small, humble vegetables play a big role in feeding millions of people around the world. California, the heart of agriculture in the U.S., produces nearly a million tons of onions each year. So whether you're a culinary connoisseur, a fan of farm-to-table freshness, or simply curious about how your food gets from field to fork, stick around because you're about to embark on an onion adventure. Let's go. Onions may be small in size, but they're undeniably big in impact. When we think of agriculture in California, many of us picture citrus groves or vineyards. But did you know that this state is also one of the largest onion producers in the United States? California boasts over 33,000 acres of farmland dedicated to growing onions, and its climate makes it the perfect environment for cultivating these bulbous beauties. Thanks to the state's mild climate, abundant sunshine, and rich, fertile soil, the region's onions are known for their top-notch quality. In fact, California's onions aren't just a local staple. They're shipped across the nation and to markets worldwide, ensuring that families everywhere can enjoy the crisp, flavorful taste that California onions bring. Now, you might be wondering, how do these incredible onions come to life? Well, let's take a closer look at how the planting process begins. In California, onion farmers start planting their crops in the late winter or early spring, typically between February and March. This timing allows the onions to take full advantage of the extended growing season that the warm climate provides. Before planting, the soil needs to be prepared, and this is a key step in ensuring the onions thrive. Farmers till the soil to loosen it and remove any weeds, stones, or debris that might hinder growth. They also apply organic or composted manure to enrich the soil, giving those onions the nutrients they need to flourish. And here's a fun fact. California's onion farmers often rely on drip irrigation systems. These systems deliver water directly to the plant roots, conserving water while ensuring that each onion gets just the right amount of moisture. This efficient irrigation system is a huge reason why the state can maintain its position as a leader in onion production. Once the soil is prepped, the next step is planting the seeds. California onion farmers either plant seeds directly into the soil or transplant seedlings that were grown in greenhouses. Both methods require precision to ensure the onions grow properly.
For direct seeding, farmers space the seeds two to four inches apart in rows that are about 12 to 18 inches apart. This gives the onions plenty of room to grow and thrive. Thanks to modern technology, most farmers use high-tech seeders that ensure the seeds are planted at the right depth and with the right spacing. These machines can plant 10 to 15 acres per day, which saves a ton of time compared to doing it manually. Once the seeds are in the ground, automated irrigation systems provide the moisture they need to germinate. In just 7 to 10 days, those tiny seeds begin to sprout and the real growth begins. As the onions grow, they need consistent care. Watering is critical, especially during the bulb development stage. Farmers need to make sure the soil stays moist without becoming waterlogged. But it's not just water that onions need to grow big and strong. They also require nutrients. Farmers often use nitrogen-based fertilizers or organic matter to help the onions grow. But there's a balance to maintain. Too much nitrogen can cause the onions to grow too quickly, leading to weak bulbs. That's why careful monitoring is essential. And let's not forget about pests. Onions are susceptible to pests like stem borers and onion flies, so farmers must be vigilant in managing these threats. Biological measures, fungicides, and even a little manual labor go a long way in keeping the crops healthy and thriving. Onion plants take their sweet time to mature, but when they do, it's quite a sight. About 90 to 120 days after planting, onions begin to flower. These flowers bloom on stalks that reach about 18 to 24 inches tall and form spherical clusters of tiny white blooms. While the flowers are beautiful to look at, they also signify that the onions are entering their seed production phase. For farmers, this is an important sign that the onions are almost ready for harvest. The timing of harvest is crucial because the onions need to reach maturity before being pulled from the ground.
Now, let's get to the exciting part, harvesting. Onions are usually harvested when the leaves start turning yellow and wilting, signaling that the bulbs are ready. Farmers often choose to harvest in the early morning hours to take advantage of the cool temperatures and soil moisture, which helps to avoid rapid wilting during the heat of the day. Depending on the method used, onion harvesters can yield anywhere from 20,000 to 40,000 pounds of onions per acre. Manual harvesting tends to be a slower process, typically yielding 10,000 to 20,000 pounds per acre, but it allows for more careful selection and minimizes damage to the bulbs. On the other hand, mechanical harvesting has revolutionized the onion industry, making the process faster and more efficient. Specialized harvesters are equipped with digging blades or rotating shafts that pull the onions from the soil. Once the onions are pulled, soil removal systems like vibrating screens or air blowers clean the bulbs before they're sorted by size. After harvesting, onions aren't immediately packed up and sent to your local grocery store. First, they need to dry out for one to two weeks in the field. This drying process allows the onions to toughen up and prepares them for storage. Once they're fully dried, the onions are gathered and transported to storage bins or packaging facilities, where they undergo another round of sorting. Advanced machinery like optical sorters uses infrared light to detect defects that aren't visible to the human eye, ensuring that only the highest quality onions make it to market. For certain types of onions, like sweet onions, the harvesting and packing process requires extra care. But what about frozen onions, you ask? Frozen onions are a popular option for many households and restaurants because they're convenient and have a long shelf life.
After being harvested, onions destined for freezing are cleaned, peeled, and then sliced, chopped, or diced into standard sizes. Before freezing, they undergo a blanching process to preserve their flavor and texture. After that, they're quickly frozen using a technique known as Individual Quick Freezing, IQF, which locks in the flavor and nutritional value. Let's take a moment to appreciate the amazing technology that makes this all possible. From automated irrigation systems to high-tech cedars and onion harvesters, modern agriculture has revolutionized onion farming. Specialized equipment like the onion harvester, windrower, and picker ensure that the entire process is efficient and precise. These machines not only save time, but also reduce labor costs and minimize bulb loss, which ultimately means more onions for you and me to enjoy. So there you have it, the journey of an onion from the soil to your table. From planting in the fertile fields of California to being carefully harvested and processed, these small but mighty vegetables go through a lot to get to your kitchen. It's a testament to the hard work and innovation of farmers who make it all possible. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of onions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more fascinating food stories. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the channel. Take care, and stay hungry.